What's up, guys, and what's up, Shadow Gang? And today I'm gonna review a uh, some two singles that Travis Scott has dropped, named Escape Plan and Mafia. Now, when I first heard about this, now here's my point of view on it. I thought it was gonna be the full like dystopia mixtape because you know Travis's schedule usually he drops a mixtape before he drops an entire album to give us like a preview of what the sound will be for Utopia. Now, honestly, was a, a little bit disappointed that it literally didn't, like, wasn't the full mixture. Because if it was, this would have been, like, a way longer review. But overall, Escape Plan is the first single he dropped. And when it said Escape Plan slash Mafia on Spotify, I thought it was going to be, like, a transitional track. Where it's, like, a two-part track where it's Escape Plan and then it transitions into Mafia for, like, a second beat. But I guess not. It's just two different tracks. Escape Plan is your typical Travis Scott song with a new catchy kind of beat. An eerie kind of beat. Sounds like a... I don't know. It sounds like a really bouncy beat. And I like that. But Travis Scott obviously took his typical flow on his, you know, the typical flows. But that one that one chorus has been stuck in my head. So Escape Plan is kind of catchy. But it's not better than when anything Travis has made. It's more of like, it's more of like Travis trying to rap, which I think it isn't bad. So skate, skate plan isn't bad, but like, it's just it's just your typical Travis Scott trap song. Your typical, you know, the yeah, you know, the it's lit. See, here's the thing about me. I always th- I think there's two different Travises. You have mainstream Travis, and you have dark Travis. Dark Travis is like. Is like you know who who is like La Flame era. It's like Birds in the Trap, Sam McNair. It's like Rodeo era. Basically, what I'm saying is it's not like him saying yeah or it's lit constantly in the background, like you know, and him just like having like some like a really dark approach. Dark Travis is like non-mainstream, it's more experimental Travis. Then you got mainstream Travis, commercialized Travis, which you know that unfortunately due to recent events that's not going to happen. But I'll talk about that in a separate video because I don't, I really, really, really don't want to cover that topic right now because I'm just trying to cover the singles. So please don't come in my comments saying like, oh, blah, 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 this, that, that, that. So here's, all right, so here's my thing with this. Escape Plan, just your typical Travis song, you know, the yeah, the it's lit ad-libs, the auto-tune. Well, he doesn't use as much auto-tune as his track, but you know. And then, so that's yeah, it's really a lot to say. It's like a two-minute Travis track. That's pretty much about it. So much for promoting that single. But, you know, it's actually a good song. It's just not the best. Now, now we get to the next song, which is the true, the true bread and butter of this entire thing. Mafia. Oh, my God, was this track good. In my opinion, Mafia has to be a top Travis Scott song because I have never heard Travis tap into this kind of sound like in forever, like features wise, he's just been, yeah, it's lit Travis and a couple features. He's just been rapping some features. He'll be like dark Travis where it's like, you know, on Kanye's album Donda, he was obviously in his dark Travis mood, bro. This song mafia, bro, is so amazing. Like I've been bumping it constantly, 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 constantly bumping this song. And when I say it's a good, 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 good song, it's a really good song. Like, it's Travis mostly talking about, like, like, like unlike a skate plan where it's him talking about his lifestyle and all this other stuff. Um, Mafia is more of, like, I guess he's talking to a girl and stuff. And talking about, like, you know, how he can fly her out, how, you know. How, like, they're basically just partying or whatever. And that truly is a great track. Like, Mafia, I'm not even kidding with you. Mafia is a really good track. And overall, yeah, I'm still going to listen to Travis's music, even though despite what's happened, like I said, save it for a separate video. And overall, this is this was a this was some great, 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 like, song. Like, Mafia was great. Escape Plan, I think I'll go back to to, like, listen to everyone knows, because I don't think everyone will really, like, listen to Mafia in the car. I mean, I would, along with some of my friends who are Travis Scott fans, who, well, not stands, fans, 
who actually do love when Travis t- taps into Dark Travis. I also really like this cover because it really like, yeah, I know it's from The Simpsons as well, so it's like I'm glad like it looks cool. And you know, Travis redrawn himself as the Bat Boy. All right, well that's about it for this review. Escape Plan was a good song. Mafia was a better song, was a great song. Oh, yeah, let's not forget the J. Cole feature. J. Cole went hard, Mafia. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'll see you next video. See you next video, Shadow Game. Love y'all.